for Kelly Bayer this yeah. afternoon, and it feels good outside in the oh. sense that it's not as hot as it's been. Yeah, not as hot, not as humid, and the smoke's beginning to clear out too, guys, and it's going to continue like that all this week. In fact, I would say this week's going to feel more like an August week should feel like in the Pacific Northwest rather than what we've been dealing with over the past couple of weeks. And this is evidence of it right now. Stoller Family Estates Winery down there in wine country, 80 degrees, beautiful sunshine, a lot more blue in there, and then a lot less haze. As we look up uh, southwest Washington, Port of Kalama, 71 degrees right now. You see off in the distance, further north up towards uh, say Longview Kelso, still some morning clouds lingering, but they'll burn off. You see the haze still a little bit here in Portland, but that again moving off to the east this afternoon. 74 degrees right now, relative humidity at 53%, and the dew point at 56, and there's that west northwest wind at 10 miles per hour. Notice those afternoon temperatures not quite as high as they've been recently, so that's going to feel a lot better. Okay, current conditions, 60s along the coast. Now, still a lot of fog and low clouds, especially central and northern coastline. I think you'll see some partial afternoon clearing there, but it's socked in pretty good for you folks there. 70 in Kelso, 74 Portland, sunshine 79 in Salem. So a lot of sunshine on the I-5 corridor and a lot of sunshine through the Columbia River Gorge. The Dallas currently at 91. And uh, also want to note that the Dallas, the west wind's going to pick up this afternoon and evening. Could gust as high as 35, even 40 miles an hour as we move in some more of that marine air off the coast this evening. Okay, we're running about five or six degrees below where we were this time yesterday in the valley. Similar numbers over there in central and east side of the state. Okay, the air quality is good in Portland now. We've lifted that advisory that was up earlier. That expired at 12 noon as we start to push that smoke out, but still central and east side. It's going to take about another day over there for you folks to start to clear out as the upper level winds switch to the west. You see, here's your smoke forecast. 5.30 this evening, Portland area starting to clear out, and then it's out of here by later this evening, and it stays out of here all day tomorrow and most likely the rest of the week as well. Now, this is an upper level, multi-level smoke forecast here. It goes up higher in the atmosphere Clearing out up there as well as we get that onshore push coming up. Okay, I'm keeping my eye on a disturbance up there in southwest British Columbia. It's just a dip in the jet stream, which allows for that onshore flow to be a little stronger than it's been the last few days. In fact, it was offshore flow last week, but we'll switch it the other way. 65, we'll call it PM sunbreaks at the coast today. Valley 85, the smoke clears. Nice warm day in the gorge as well. Temperatures in the upper 80s, central and east side 80s and uh, lower 90s. Here's that wind gust forecast. You see the Dallas picks up later this afternoon, but it'll back off again tonight, and I don't expect it to be as windy there tomorrow. Boy, we've had a whole run of temperatures way up there. There's six days in the last seven or eight that were 90 or above. Don't see any 90s coming though in the next seven days, so that'll be a good uh, relief there. Okay, I'm keeping my eye on these morning clouds coming in tomorrow morning. It could bring in, they'll be thick enough to where it could bring a sprinkle to the coast, but I don't expect any measurable rainfall in the Portland area. Our big weather pattern shows just a dip in the jet stream with that system over southwest British Columbia, and then that pushes off, and the ridge continues to just sit off the coast all week long. It's not right over us, so I don't expect a big heat wave, but a cool, dry northwest flow coming up. The rest of the week will keep us uh, about where we should be seasonal for this time of the year. Uh, quick look at that seven day forecast. Again, we'll go 85 for a high today and we'll go 77 with cooler tomorrow. We'll have more morning clouds tomorrow and then mostly sunny 85 on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday looking really nice. More like what we should see this time of the year. Okay, more Coin 6 News.